Hey, what's up everybody? I am back with another video and today we have a snake tech guide Yeah, I discovered new tech. I actually had done it the first day the game came out But I got really sick and some other stuff So I um, I took a while also because I was looking on the discord and I wasn't sure if this tech was like Something that I was already up or people know but so I wasn't I wasn't really sure about it so it took me a while to like uh, just ask around the discord and asking pro players like AC So yeah, the the the, the, um, the community was really helpful for me So nobody seemed to know what it was or talking about I ever thought I was talking about something else They thought I was talking about this But I, uh, so I wasn't really talking about that They thought oh yeah, you can cancel your shield with your neighbor No, I was actually literally talking about canceling your shield completely How's that for a change? <laughs> yeah, you could. This technique is pretty cool. It allows you to do a lot of really cool things. The gist of it is that Snake could cancel his um, shield by using his jump. He has a specific frame in in his um, in his jump where he could just ca completely cancel the completely cancel his shield. I'm trying to get it down right. There it is. Yeah, so It's it looks hard like that, but it's actually simpler when you implement the second part of it So so the second part of it um, What you can actually do with it the practical part the utility whatever you want to call it is that you can Grab immediately the the grenade you can immediately grab grab the grenade, but that's not all you could also immediately throw it you could do an aerial like I just did right now and it could it could be any aerial actually not just there so that's that's really 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 cool another thing that you can do with it is that if, if you um, let it go if you don't let it go let's say you have you have both grenades still you could do this throw another one and then you already have a cooked one like immediately that's that's for me this was like extremely helpful along with the air, being able to use an aerial because there's chances where I wanted to use an aerial I didn't want to do this and then throw it or do that I wanted an aerial I really I really wanted uh, to throw an aerial in that, that situation but that's that's those are some of the things that you can do with it you could do a, a bunch of other stuff because when you're in the air <laughs> in this game oh my gosh it's really really amazing so here's with how to do it obviously you're gonna start with grenade then you're gonna shield you're gonna jump like I showed you in the beginning those are the three main components of this technique but the thing is you gotta figure out or feel feel what frame is the frame that snake cancels his shield a good way to practice it would be here in the ledge because if you mess it up the, the grenade will just fall it's easier if you memorize the, that feeling that way you would get used to making your inputs properly but another thing is that once if you do this that is a lot actually like because of the buffer system everything inputs perfectly it cancels the shield and it cancels you, it, it cancels everything really really nicely it's a lot easier uh, right after I basically I do the jump I just press Z so it'd be this 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 and this so I gotta be closer yeah, that way I could practice it efficiently. There's a trick to it though. The trick is that if you hold, if you hold the after you press grenade and then you hold the R button and immediately press and hold the jump button, and then you just tap, and I mean just tap the Z button to grab it, it'll, it'll do this input. It's very interesting because then after that it all becomes timing, especially with an aerial. There's a lot of ways to do it. You could also, instead of just pressing the Z, the Z button, after, if you want, don't want to grab, just grab it. You could also just press the C stick and it'll automatically throw it. Yeah, you could also do the A button and hold it. Pre you have to press, let go, then press again and hold the A button or Z button. Or C stick, hold in the direction you want it. And then that's how it does the attack. So you guys got that? It's a lot of stuff. Yes, it's a lot of steps. But as long as you get this down that it's really really easy 
And then, then you're gonna be able to get this all the time. I never mess this up, actually. Yep, I could always get it. So now, you're asking, what are the practical uses of that? Well, this one helped me out in neutral a lot. Boom, it was, it was like, it was like super helpful. Then I could just run away and have this one. So this is, this is cool about this that I could, I could like, I'm not stuck in shield. So that, that was really good for neutral. For me, I, I, I use it quite a lot actually during my, my battles. And for me, it just seemed really helpful. Um, and then it gives me the ability to mix it with this. With like other options that Snake has. So it's just another option. So another thing that I found really helpful was that if I did it like near the ledge. Let me see if I could get it right because this one's really hard. Oops. Another practical use was ah uh, man, this hard. Another practical use was that if you use it with an aerial, you could just already have a you could already have a cooked grenade if you want to already have it in hand. That one takes a little more time to get used to it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool that <laughs> if you ever imagined being able to use an aerial and have it literally pull a grenade at the same time, it's now it's now a reality. So it's like the, another good, cool thing about this is that if your hands you like your hands to hurt just like in melee, it feels the same way because literally the inputs are so fast in such a rapid succession. That I honestly, like, like if you're not used to this, your fingers will feel really funny. Unless you do the cancel version that I showed in the beginning, the very simple one where you just press, uh, you just jump at the right frame with uh, out of the, out of the shield. So, a really good cue for that is that when Snake pulls out the pin, right before that, so you're trying to buffer shield, so you're gonna hold the shield and immediately just press the jump button. See that? And then you just press D if you want to do that and just throw it. You could just press the C stick instead and yeah. So there, there you go. Some some of the practical uses that uh, that I had had were those. Uh, using the backer for me was really really good. Um, using this in neutral was like really fun for for me. That that was like, really really helpful. I, could, I should have just thrown it up. Well, yeah. You guys get it. So now here it is. Here's my challenge to you guys. Show me your snake tech. Show me what you can do. Show me what this tech could do. Is it a yay or nay? Is it good or bad? You tell me. I don't know. I just... I honestly love this tech. It feels amazing. There's so much I can do with it. Just throw it around. Especially when they're really far, you get to camp. So the points... The points that I want to emphasize before we finish is that you up your mix-up game it lets you move faster uh, and if you, they're really far to camp because you could just instantly throw it instead of just dropping your shield so i i believe it's a good mix-up so that's it for today hope you guys loved it and don't forget to keep <laughs> don't forget to subscribe that would be awesome if you guys do it i see you guys later